And by names of Tumukuza Sharon Chiza, and the mother of Namne Maria Patience Chantal. Before coming here, my life was too, too hard. Before the lockdown, I was a bit, I, I was a bit okay, but after the, but within the lockdown, change, things changed all around. <laughs> so, by the time I moved away from Masaka to coming this side, I came to Entebbe to work, but after I realized that I was pregnant, I, I decided to quit. I decided to come to Kampara is when I was pregnant, my, the owner of the pregnancy said I should abort. Even me is myself, I got that idea of being overboarding. When I when I talked to my to one of my friends, I told him my problems and what the solution that he gave me that I shouldn't abort. I travelled, I came to Namuongo, it was my first time to reach Namuongo. But I found I found life which was difficult and hard. Slum, I found there are slums, and life in slum is not easy. People are suffering, I suffered, I really suffered. There came a woman, she told me, I have, a, I have my neighbors who have an organization, I will take you to there, then they will help you. Then that lady connected me to guardian angel, touch the slum. When I went to their office, they helped me in food. The first thing that they, they did first to help me was to counsel me. Cause I, I had no, I had no one in Kampara here, most especially in Namongo. Then that's when I again started the, the hard life whereby I was homeless sleeping here, sleeping there. The sad thing it was that I was with a baby. And from then, I came in Rosa's. When you are staying in Rosa's, hey, my dear, things can change. And Rosa's changes your life emotionally, spiritually. For me, I reached a time when I lost hope. We started they started counseling us, especially Mama. If Mama was seeing you like you were there in, in a lot of thoughts, in deep thoughts, she can call you and she counsels you. She tells you a story. Then when you hear a story also, you gain hope. Mama also did a lot of, a lot, a lot to make me be strong, to make me be a woman, to make me be a mother, a stronger mother. In Rose House, they give us food. When you are staying in Rose House, they give you clothes, everything is free of charge. They give you medication, treatment is free of charge. They make sure that you have any vocational school, any vocational skill that you are learning. And for me, I choose the, I choose the hairdressing. After I went to Suvi House, Then when I was in Suvi House, I got a saloon to work with. Suvi House, just like, as you hear Suvi, that's being hope. Like, it is like hope, like hope house. Ah, when you are in Suvi House, also they give you free rent, whereby even though you work, you just to save your money, that you don't pay rent, you don't buy food, they give you food. When you get sick, they treat you with your baby. Where by all that money, you just save it for your future. For me, my plan is to get my, to get my own business. I also want to be a landlady. For other people to thank the volunteers, people supporting us, we really do appreciate.